JW, are we on? Hey, hey Kyle, come on, come on here with me. J Team McGee here in the garage area. He cut a little early here for the 92 truck. Uh, they had to stop right around lap 35 uh, with some with some with some issues. Uh, uh, excuse me, uh, can we talk for just a second? Yeah, man. Hey, J T McGee, NASCAR now. Uh, if, you, if I hadn't mentioned, um, we do have here driving the 92 truck today, Earl Scooter Huggins. Uh, and of course, we had an early departure. Unfortunately, how you feeling, buddy? I, I apologize that we have to interview this way, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> man, I mean, it's, it's just frustrating today, man. We truck was loose all day. Uh, man, I just couldn't really get a grip on her. But uh, well, it looked like you had a little bit of a problem coming into the pits. It was a kind of an early pit, and uh, I don't know if you and uh, Ted Musgrave got into it a little bit there. I didn't know if there was a, uh, a problem there with your spotter. Well. Johnny Williams again, man. I mean, he just, I don't know, man. I was, I was coming in, and, and the next thing I know, man, I, I, was, I had a hand out the window. I was coming in the pits, man. I felt like I got a bad, I got a bad, bad vibration, man, out of the truck a couple oh. laps ago. And then, man, I was, I was signaling in, coming into the pits. I felt something come loose as soon as I hit pit road. And, man, man, Musgrave was there, and I just got into him, man. But, I mean, he's going to hate me for above. I mean, you know, it's like Wally Dollenbach always told me, man, rubbing's racing. And that's why Ricky put me in his truck. You mean? Uh, oh, I am with you. <laughs> Definitely, for sure. Well, I hate that it's cut early for you. Is there any kind of sponsors or any sort of uh, partnerships that you'd like to thank? I know it's an early departure. I apologize to, to get in on you like this. But, I mean, hey, you know, Rubin's racing, right? <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, that's like Will Burton always told me, you know, Rubin's racing. And that's, you know, that's why Ricky put me in his truck. I mean, you with me? But, uh, I mean, no, nah, I mean, I'm with you. I got to thank the sponsors, uh, everybody at RBR Racing, uh, Mooge, uh, Edelbrook, I mean, uh, Sunoco, um, Sunoco, Mobile One, Keystone Light. Uh, hey man, you know everybody, about everybody Nuko, back here at RBR, man. Don't forget about Sunoco. Hey, man, they they the 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 work. I mean, I know that's a good product as well. Yeah. But I mean, hey, Mooch. I mean, Mooch's supposed to be top line, man. But you know, they could. I mean, I'll run in all day long if that's what's going to keep me on brace track. Well, it doesn't look like it's a belt problem. I thought you said maybe it was a suspension or maybe a steering link. I feel, like, I feel like it was a sway bar, man. I felt something come out underneath the truck when it hit that I had no idea why the hood's up, man. Well, I'll tell you what, it's these belts here. Well, uh, again, we, we appreciate uh, you taking the time to talk with Thank us here at NASCAR you. Now. And uh, JW, back to you. Thank you.